Welcome once again to the Inspire You Network. I'm Al Whedon, joined by our CEO, Candace Houston. Candace, what's up? What's going on, Al Wishes? Well, it's June, and it's still Black Music Month, and we're yes, continuing to pay homage to uh, Black Music Month by doing these interviews with artists and professionals and people in the industry, especially here on the local level. So we have someone today who is literally, don't get jealous, a queen, Candice. We have the queen of the South joining us, Tara Keith. Tara, how are you doing today? I am great. Thank you so much for asking, and thank you guys for having me on the show. Thank you so much for joining us as we pay, pay homage to Black Music Month and speaking to some artists here in the area and industry movers and shakers. Uh, get right to it. For you, Tara, uh, you're in the business, you're a singer, you're a performer, but what what inspires you? What, what music inspires you? I tell you, um, as an artist, all forms of music inspire me. Um, basically, music is the medicine for the soul. And um, a lot of my inspiration comes from, you know, certain things that may have happened in the past or that certain song that um, takes me back to a childhood memory. Those are the types of good times that I remember as I write music as well. Okay, I got you. Tell us, how long have you been singing or performing? Okay, for... Um, I've been performing for about six years, but um, as a recording artist, I'm, I'm only four years in. Seems like a long time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <that was odd. laughs> so, so let me ask you this. We want to talk about the evolution of music. And I know that, you know, we kind of kind of gave you a little information on some questions we were going to ask, but I'm going to twist it a little bit because your genre is Southern soul. And Correct. you know that Southern Soul is something that really just started getting hot in the industry and it derived from blues. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct. Okay, so tell us about that evolution from blues to Southern Soul. Okay, so um, when we go back towards the evolution of music in general, um, dating all the way back to the 1500s, that, um, that's when our ancestors, of course, um, they were um, enslaved and sent to plantations and they took along with them of culture and music. And so that's how a lot of the platform for the blues actually took place. And so when we think about blues um, in the earlier 1800s and what inspired that type of music, it was because of the things that um, um, the musicians and the artists were experiencing at that time, such as um, um, racism, poverty, um, um, and, and so on and so forth. So that those types of experiences gave those artists during that time inspiration and escape to be creative in their writing and moving forward um, as blues has evolved of course it um it introduced a lot of your jazz and then of course the r b and really that's what r b was jazz and blues at the time and then as music continued to evolve of course within r b they're incorporated blues, rock, rap, um, soul, and so on. And so that brings us to Southern Soul. So when you take a look at Southern Soul, we do not per se talk so much about my baby left me or the blues is gone, the thrill is gone so much. We talk about the good times, partying, having a good time, having fish fries and, and those types of things. So in my opinion, that's how that music has actually evolved. It's no more of a combination of blues as well as R&B. When you think back of those R&B greats like your, your Tina Marie's, your Earth, Winds and Fires, the Marvin Gaye's, they talked a little bit about what was going on then, but they also incorporated the great times in, 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 in progression. So, and that's where we are right now. Okay, okay. And I did notice that as I listened to Southern Soul, because that's more of like your, your dance, you know, family reunion type music, and I really love that. Absolutely. As a female, because we know that the music industry is you know, some genres are male dominated. And I think that blues is probably one of those genres that, you know, is heavily um, male singers. So you as a female coming up, tell us about your struggles, um, you know, if any, and, and what were the good, what's the good side of being a female in the industry? 
Well, I, I will, as you mentioned, um, most of who you will see at the blue shows are female and they're coming there to see the male show. So you're right. right. This is a male dominant um, um, type of an industry. Mm -hmm. And it has been a challenge being a female because I don't, I don't think that female artists are given the same amount of respect as males do. So we have to work even harder to prove that, hey, we're relevant in the business as well. But I would definitely say through my experience and my journeys through um, this experience, a lot of males has embraced me in the business and has worked in, with me and mentored uh, with me um, all along. And, and there were several times I said, maybe I wanted to give up, but then they were like, no, don't you dare do that. You're on the right track. You keep doing what you're doing. It's going to come around eventually. But um, yes, if we could just get that respect and, and, and not be taken for granted, that would be awesome. Okay. Okay. Now tell us about, I know that you do uh, several different events, uh, large uh, blues and Southern soul events. So tell us about some of those that you're involved in. Okay, so um, I've had an opportunity for the uh, last several years to participate with um, um, the Spring Fling, uh, Blues on the Rivers, uh, various weddings, party events, um, various, various shows around the city, in addition to traveling to um, New Orleans to participate in various events and, and Atlanta as well. And I've even gone to um, um, Centersville, Illinois um, and to do a show. So it's been a fun journey for me. Right. And you do the cruise as well, right? Oh, and I did the cruise. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yes. That's what I'm about. <laughs> yes. Had a great opportunity to go on a Till One birthday cruise. You know, Till One's amazing artist. Um, he allowed me to the one an, an, another artist, a male artist that reached out to me um to to help me along the way as well. So I was so honored to to be able to participate with he and Jeff Floyd and, and just enjoy the cruise. It was absolutely amazing. Okay. Sarah, right. let me uh, ask you something about two or one. You mentioned Jeff Floyd uh, and you being a female singer genre. Who have been some influences on you to get you where you are at this point in your career right now? Now, from the um, blues industry, I would say very early on when I first started, there was um, Mo Stovall, um, Rob Williams, Big Row, um, let's see, Jeff Floyd, of course, J. Red, the nephew. Those uh, those four guys are my dudes. So there's been, and, and, you know, and they've all been there to give me some great advice. Even Jeff Floyd, we've sat down on many of occasions, and he's given me great insight about the business and, and what needs to be done next. So I could call any of those guys at any time uh, for anything, um, and, and uh, um, any advice or what have you, and they're so willing to give that information to me. Um, even audio. Audio is a great friend of mine, and um, he's actually featured on one of my singles as well, and of course, most of all as well. So Jeff and I, we may be doing something together a little later, so right. yeah. Oh yeah, and I am working on a project with Jay Red as well. Okay. It's going to be coming soon. <laughs> Very good. Well, you know, what kind of advice would you give to an artist, you know, male or female that is coming up in the business, just from the things that you've seen? Because I know you and I have talked even, you know, prior to this about some of the struggles and, you know, some of the obstacles that you have faced um, trying to come up in the industry. So uh, talk to that artist who's, who's really trying, who's serious about what they are uh, wanting to do. What would you say to them? I would definitely say, um, do your research on the industry. There, there are amazing books that are out there. Um, please do your research um, as it relates to your, your, your branding, your behaviors, your activities before and during and after shows. You want to make certain that your brand is a brand of integrity. Um, be sure to do that. Do not sell your soul for anything. Uh, have integrity in all things that you do. Um, and don't rush the process. You have to trust the process. It, it's not an easy process. Um, it doesn't happen overnight. Um, I'm, I'm a true witness to that. I'm, I'm four years in as a recording artist. But, um, but do it because of something that you love to do, not for something to get you rich quick, because that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, but it has to be a love for it. And so follow your passion and don't let anyone discourage you. Because I had a lot of discouragements um, in the past as well, but, uh, but I was able to prove otherwise. All right. I love it. Go queen. <laughs> and Candace, she sounds like she's a busy lady. Ask her how can folks catch up with her? Because she's got something coming to Jeff Lloyd real soon. <laughs> 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Jeff Lord and Jay Red. So um yeah, so um basically I am available on various um all digital platforms um as far as the music is concerned. I do have a website as well, it's terraqueenofthesouth.com. So on there you can purchase uh, music downloads as well as CDs as well. This is not my completed album, but it's almost there. I have one more song away uh, from completing that album. And um, also various uh, social media sites, um, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook as TaraQueenOfTheSouth.com. Awesome. Awesome. Candace, do you have any other words before we get out of here? I just want to say, you know, that I am just, um, I'm just proud to know you. Um, you know, it's obvious that you are serious about your craft. It's obvious that you're not going to let anybody stop you or anything stop you. And again, I go back to some of the previous conversations that we had. So I know a little bit more than most people do, but um, I, I just think you're amazing. And I just wish you the best in continued success. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you guys again for having me on the show. It's definitely an honor. Absolutely. Well, we do appreciate you taking out time, and we want to remind everyone that as the month of June continues to roll on, we will have more interviews and insight into the music industry as we pay homage to Black Music Month. But most importantly, be safe, be healthy. Please go get yourself registered. But more importantly, after you get registered, please go vote. But take like nine other people with you to go vote and make sure they vote as well. Right now, we're going to turn it over to the Queen of the South, Tara Keith, as she blesses us with a performance here on the Inspire You Network. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. All good things must come to an end. The man that I was with half of my life decided I wasn't good enough. He started lying and cheating and staying out all night. I just couldn't do anything right. But you know what? You stay. It's been 12 long years, but it seems like yesterday. You asked me to be your lady, and I decided to say yeah. But something went wrong. Please don't walk out that door. 